tea. Earl Grey. Hot. Am I? <laughs> but you make me laugh. There's nothing funny about it. This is serious business. <laughs> what are we going to do today? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking we could stay in. You could slip into something a bit more frilly. It's all a dream, isn't it? What? Us both skipping work? I'm not so sure I'd go so far as to say dream, but it's pleasant nonetheless. I mean, you and me here, in this place. Did this really happen, Mitch? You weren't actually in this space sipping your tea, were you? You just remember it. What's happening? Do you love me? I love you. I wonder. This brain, it's been wiped so many times, scrubbed clean, filled up again and again. Is there anything that's really you still in there? You're going to make me leave. I'd never make you leave. But you are leaving. Please let me stay. Would you want to? If this isn't real, would you still want to stay with me? Even if it was just a second? Yes. So the third girl takes a cherry and she puts it up her skirt. She fiddles around with it for a little bit. She comes out. No cherry. So the third girl says, I made mine to the shape of a ballerina, but you're gonna have to check to see if I'm lying. Hmm. Fine attempt. But... I'm sorry. Damn it. Just get the hell out of here. His name is Mitch Manners, and he's traveling through time. He can't remember where it started, how it started. Each time he goes back, he leaves his memory behind. And in its place, he's given a vision, something he must do. Susan live. Did you stop Batmaning me? It's nice to have some context though, isn't it? I didn't know you could sin in hell. Maybe you can't. Did I kill her before? Am I just reliving my past, killing her over and over again? Killing Jan? She's not dead now. You just left her bed. I'm confused as to why. Fuck off. You killed Jan, but you saved the world. And is it saved? I know how we can tell. Well, what was your vision? What did you see after you killed Jan? It's 
stopping a man from going into his office. See, that's an easy one. So you think... You messed up a big thing. But you fixed it by doing a big thing. And now that we're back into the small stuff... They're giving you a, uh, a break. For a job well done, I'd say. That is what you'd say. Get over it. Isn't it about time for you to be getting along? I mean, you've gotten in a full day of, you know, being useless. Time to turn in. Hey, what's it like being with a dead girl? Ooh, I'm Dave, and I wear black stretchy shirts from the Junior Mist Department. Right. Find my spot, sit down like a lump, wait for my John like a hooker. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm time's bitch and I've had my proper lashing. Sorry, uh, you remind me of, uh... Iced tea. <laughs> I remind you of tea? No, I, uh, Is the tea, um, Earl Grey? I like that. Uh, they have that. Hi, Mum! What? Uh, no, I... You're breaking up. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Um, I know it's lame to be leaving you a message, but I have to say what I have to say while there's still time to say it. Uh, this would be the place where I paste in the reason I'm such a mess, but that's uh, not really important. Uh, well, in fact, this, this whole message is ridiculous when I think about it, but, well, that's kind of par for the course for my life. The point is this. I just have to say it out loud, even though you won't remember it. I'm sorry, and I'll find a way to fix this. Oh. Oh. My feet are all backwards today, but then what else is new? <laughs> I'm a bit of a klutz, and here is the evidence. Oh, look, you dropped your phone. Why is my... I love Susan! Bye. 